Early in the morning at Brest Harbor, sailors, dealers, and businessmen prepare a mysterious transaction. A smuggler's deal or a big coup? No. We are witnessing a significant futuristic experiment. About ship helms away! Is it possible in the 21st century to deliver cargo just by the power of the wind? Andreas Lachner takes on the challenge. Yeah, they made the plastic box up. Born in the mountains of Austria, his passion is the sea. Together with his friends, Lochner restored an ancient sailing vessel that Très Amblaise delivers cargo on the transatlantic route. We're going to revolutionize cargo shipping. We want all cargo boats to have sails. The Très Amblaise is just the beginning. Nowadays, cargo business means giant vessels, enormous amounts of containers, delivery just in time. It is a fight, David against Goliath. But Andreas Lochner has got mighty allies. The Dijkstra Company in Amsterdam is one of the world leaders of ship design. In this office, the most amazing inventions take place. Together with Lochner, the naval architects developed the freighter of the 21st century, powered by the wind, as in the old days. The art of sailing is one of mankind's most ancient abilities, a treasure of knowledge collected over the last 6,000 years. But in our generation, we are in danger of losing this wisdom because only a few people still know the art of sailing tall ships. The four-masted steel bark Sadov is one of the world's few last training ships. Captain Nikolai Tsoshenko prepares his students for a future with the wind. The wind has been blowing for millions and millions of years. And for our purpose, people must use this gift of God. Meanwhile, the solution becomes more and more concrete. A container freighter driven by automatic sails. This innovative ship is the revolutioner's hardware. And the software is at hand as well. A routing program adapted to the ship's design, fed with the sailing instructions of the old windjammer captains, combining it with satellite-based weather data. So the software can calculate the optimal route and navigate automatically. That makes the whole thing possible, the revolution we are talking about. These new scientific results and inventions make it work. The vision becomes reality, developed in this think tank. But this vessel will be only one ship out of a whole armada. Similar concepts are being developed at the same time all over Europe. In France, Great Britain, Scandinavia, Spain, and Germany. The revolution has already begun.